Okay, now we're gonna do something a little different. We've done a lot of, and experimented with a lot of different types of grilling, especially one of the big things going now is primal grilling. So what is primal grilling? Primal grilling is something that is really out of the ordinary or presses the edge of the envelope uh, of your grilling and cooking over fire. So today we are gonna cook on a shovel. So our friends at Cap Crafting Iron made us a great fire bowl, which you're gonna see in a bit, but this could easily be done on your barbecue grill, charcoal grill, whether it's a Weber kettle uh, or even a fire pit if you're out camping. Uh, it's just really a cool way to do it. A lot of people will probably say, well, why in the world would you cook on a shovel? I know what I do with my shovel and the last thing I do with it is cook on it. Well, we have shovels that are specifically for cooking. We go down to Home Depot, Home Depot you spend 15 bucks, you get a nice clean shovel. Wash it with soap and water, sterilize it over the fire and it's gonna be perfectly fine. It's a lot like cooking on a cast iron skillet over a flame. So the other question is, why don't you just cook over a cast iron skillet? Well, there's just a really cool factor. If you got kids or you're having a party, anytime the guests can grab a shovel, put their meat, whether it's fish, steak, chicken, whatever, put it on a shovel and cook it, it's something that they're gonna remember forever and you're gonna be the coolest grill master ever. So what we're gonna cook today are a couple of ribeyes and we're gonna cook them on a shovel. Now, if you have a shovel at home, we're going to season these up with just a little salt and pepper. And we use kosher salt. It's got a little coarser grain. When it hits that fire, it's going to caramelize and really give a good flavor. Now, if you at home don't have a cooking shovel, which I would imagine 99% of the people don't, and you're a little freaked out by it, you can really scrub down your shovel with soap and water and uh, heat it and sterilize it over the fire, get it really searing hot, add a little olive oil to it, and it would be just fine. And I know you're thinking, no, it's not, you don't have any idea what you're talking about, but we've done it, we've had people do it all the time. And you know, if you're worried about it, trust me, go down to Home Depot, get a shovel for 15 bucks, and keep it as your cooking shovel. It's something you're gonna love, for the rest of your life. So let's get to the fire pit and let's cook on a shovel. Okay, here's our shovel. We weren't kidding. We're really gonna cook over a shovel. So these are our shovels and all we ever do on these are cook. So the first thing we wanna do is really get it good and hot and you can turn it over. You can see our fire pit. And a lot of people have fire pits at home. Get it good and hot. And any germs or anything that's on there, trust me, just leave it on there until it gets really hot. You're going to sterilize that shovel. Or as we mentioned before, just go get one. So you want to let it heat up really good. And we've got Grant here today. Grant's going to help us cook on a shovel. And trust me, we've been camping with a bunch of Boy Scouts a couple weekends ago, and they freaked out. They loved it to death. And so the first thing they do is they run home, they tell their parents, hey mom, hey dad, I cooked on a shovel. And so that's great. So uh, once you get good and hot, you're, that's what's gonna give you that good sear, it's gonna caramelize those spices on there, and then we're gonna be able to cook it. And again, cook it to whatever you want, medium, medium rare, whatever, it's gonna work. So now we're gonna get the meat on. You got your tongs, and you'll hear it when it hits the deal. Look that sear. And you always want to keep your shovel. You don't want to put it directly on the flame, but keep it really close. And again, you can move around your fire pit, your fire bowl. And again, you can do this on, a, on your grill, Weber kettle. We've done it there and you get the same great results. We're doing ours over wood here. It can easily be done over charcoal. If you have a little charcoal chimney, get a couple good flows of that with some wood chips. It really gives a good smoke flavor. And again, we've done chicken, we've done fish, we've done lobster, we've done just about everything. We've done vegetables on a shovel. Sauteing onions is absolutely fantastic. You could have a guest that's working on onions while the others are cooking the steaks. You can fit a couple steaks on your shovel. You could do surf and turf. Let your imagination just run wild. Just like on your grill, a lot of people always ask us, well, I don't know when to turn my steak. Well, you always want to look for little pools of, 
of blood or liquid to form on the top and that way you know that it's time to flip your steak. So um, we're gonna let this cook just a minute or two, then we'll come back when it's time to turn it. Steaks have been on about three or four minutes. Uh, we're gonna cook them to a medium, medium rare. So we're ready to turn them. Look at that, perfectly caramelized. Again, you'll put it right back on the fire. We'll cook another three or four minutes and cook it to however you want it done, whether it's medium, medium well, whatever. It's your choice. You're in control of your own shovel. Now burn your shovel off. Turn it over the other way. Get some good flame going. There you go. Okay. Your guests are ready, they're at their table, they're ready to eat. Grant's gonna cut into his steak. Good, solid, medium, rare. Oh yeah, that's good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Grill on a shovel, everybody. Try it out.